The next foul spirit we're looking at is the spirit of heaviness. The spirit of heaviness. There are people they just they can't put their finger on why they are down. They're just down. It's the spirit of heaviness. Heaviness. Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 3. It, to appoint to them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of prayer for the spirit of heaviness, for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the plantains of the Lord, that he may be glorified. There is a spirit of heaviness, is the one behind depressions, suicidal thoughts, and all junks, all junks, all junks. But if you look at Isaiah 61, verse 1 down the line that is the ministry of the holy ghost, holy ghost to destroy the whole of the spirit of heaviness other husband and wife living in home and then keeping malice good morning good man where are you going what's your business when are you coming back for what i'm not coming back at all don't ask me again. Now, there is a spirit just sat there and manipulating for no just cause. Just manipulating innocent people. You can't tell a madman what have I done when he hits you. You better run. Hey, man, he doesn't know he's hitting you. He thinks he's playing with you. The spirit of heaviness has taken many lives into the graves. You will not be taken. Yeah. The cure is the oil of joy. With the Holy Ghost offers. The oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You can't be full of praise and be full of depression. The Holy Ghost wears on us the cloak of praise. Can I hear your Amen. Amen. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I cast out every spirit of oppression, of heaviness, oppressing anyone. Understand my voice today. For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. Because a living dog is better than a dead lion. Every child of God is begotten to a living hope. Living hope. Your hope is alive. Yes. Amen. Because the one who lives in you is alive. So you have it tomorrow. It's where you can't say tomorrow you are depressed. You have a tomorrow. It's painted variously from the page of scriptures. You have a tomorrow. You have a tomorrow. You may appear like being in prison like Joseph, but you have a tomorrow. Yes, sir. What kept Joseph going? He could see the tomorrow. Yes, sir. He kept seeing the tomorrow. Yes, oh, yes, I'm going there. Oh, yes, I'm going there. Oh, yes, I'm going somewhere. Oh, yes, I'm, go I'm just going through a passage. Yes, I'm just going through a passage. Yes, I'm going there. Hallelujah. There is no <laughs> globally ranked academic today that was not once in primary school. Yes, sir. And they came them. Yes, if you went to school when they started caning people. Amen. 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 He failed oh, one or two subjects. They spank him at home. But he's not a celebrity in academics. It's a passage. It's a passage. Come on now. It's a passage. It's a passage, it's a passage my friend. Jesus, who for the joy that was there before him and the the cross, despite the praise, the shame. There's a joy said tomorrow, bright and colorful. Said before you. By the anointing today, the spirit of heaviness is laid to rest in your life. Yeah. Why is that important? The Bible says in Proverbs 18, verse 14, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a broken spirit who can bear. A broken spirit will end up breaking the body. Depression is the gateway to oppression. You can't be oppressed until you are first depressed. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, that gateway is shot permanently against the devil today. 
Therefore rejoice in the Lord. And again I say what? Rejoice. Rejoice evermore. Come on, give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. The spirit of heaviness is caused today Amen. in the life of any victim of it in the name of Jesus. Amen. A merry heart do a good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Proverbs 17 22. It dries the bones. Your bone will not be dried. Amen. 